all right <laughs> so anyway let me start over hi guys this is Miss Serenity Smith and I'm here with baby Lamar and baby Lamar is um, he's actually um, grant by Michelle Fagan and he according to his description is a six-month-old baby and I would have to agree he's a little chubby little baby and he's actually my one of my favorite babies um, so today I wanted to talk about bonding because I was um, reading in one of the forums and uh, someone was asking what should they do um, when they have this beautiful baby but they're not bonding. Now I'm going to talk in general nature and about my own past experiences, not so more, much about that particular person but it um, triggered some thoughts to go ahead and like do a video with you guys on it right um i had kind of mentioned it in in one of my videos recently about the fact that i feel like a lot of people buy babies based off of what's the hype you know um how beautiful the baby is painted um or you know the the photography of the baby sometimes is um is one of the things sorry guys when you see me doing that I'm trying to adjust the screen so I focus on the baby and not me <laughs> but um but yeah so you know I for one used to buy babies back to back back to back back to back and then you know after the newness wear off it's like okay I don't want to pick the doll up I don't want to you know hold it and everything um there's two things that i learned one is that they're really dolls and they don't have to be changed every day and i don't have to feel bad if i don't want to change them today or tomorrow or next week even or even for a month because they are collectible dolls so they can sit and collect dust if that is what you know happens and it's okay and then i can go back and you know you know dust them off or whatever and change their clothes and as long as I still get excited when I get ready to change their clothes I'm good but when it gets to a point where I go to pick the doll up and if there's absolutely no excitement or anything um, with me with that particular sculptor doll or whatever it's like okay the bond is lost I've lost interest you know um, sometimes just depends on the doll it may you know have more sentimental value I may still keep it um, you know, they're, you know, I've had dolls in my private collection that, you know, I have no desire to bother with, but because of something about the doll that's sentimental, I, I hold it. Um, but let's get to the point of the main thing of what I see. So a lot of times with these dolls, um, and a lot of you guys may not realize this is the problem is that the sculpting on the dolls are not so realistic but they're painted beautifully and then you get them because you love the way they're painted and they look so great in their their photographs because they're in a still shot in pose you know perfect but when you get the baby home and you start looking at it and as you you know the excitement wear off then you really begin to see the doll for what it really is and then you start looking like the hands aren't realistic the feet aren't realistic or maybe they have those monkey arms and when I say monkey arms the arms are so long like you know they just hang down like this you know you you kind of I think just because we're a lot of us collect for realism even though you don't really think that's what the problem is that's usually what the problem can be sometime or maybe the painting isn't a real as realistic as you thought over time or maybe it's just simple that simply that you like seeing new faces and um it's time to sell the doll so um it happens but how I learned that I was wasting a lot of money is because I was collecting just boom I see a doll I like it I buy it because I could I like it I buy it I like it I buy it I like it I buy it I get it home I hate it I sell it and it just was a repeated process and now you know like um, the girl Tiffany in the group was saying um, you should take your time a little bit more with buying and stuff and make sure that you're buying stuff that you like 
um, regardless of what I say, say for instance, I might say, um, I don't like babies with fists, right? And I go on and on about it. And then by the time you get through watching my video, you think, yeah, you know what? I don't like them either. Well, but deep down, seeing the baby fist balled up or something, maybe trigger a memory for you or remind you of your baby pictures when they were little. You always saw your fists were balled or something. Don't go off of what I say. Go off, trust your instinct. What draws you to the doll? Um, it has to like trigger this, not just this something new emotion, but like, oh my God, I really love that baby like it it has to feel like it's you know I don't know but at the end of the day you know of course we all know that they're dolls but I think sometimes we do kind of overlook that they're dolls like we don't have to you know totally um feel bad because we don't like the doll no more we, we don't like the doll no more I mean I, and these are collectible items so like I said there are some dolls that I collect and I hold on to for other reasons other than the fact of wanting to role play or hold them or dress them some dolls that I collect just are display dolls they are truly my collection babies um, some of those babies you guys never saw because um, it's, some, it's the sculptor um, it's, you know, maybe it's the way it's painted, maybe it was, you know, whatever. It's just it's something particular about that doll and I don't do anything with it, but every now and then I might go change the clothes, but, um, yeah, I have a baby that I hadn't changed in about four months and I just changed her recently and when I picked her up, I was just as excited as I was, like, the last four months when I changed her and um that is my miss little Carly Pooh and you guys have never met Carly but um but yeah and a lot of people ask me that they were like well, well do you have other silicones or do you have other if it's my private collection that means it's private and I just don't really talk about it so it's not that I try to tease you guys with it it's just that you know I want you guys to, to know the person behind the camera that I'm a real dog collector. I really enjoy these dogs. I really, really do. Um, it's not just for show or for play. I love these dogs. If I ever shut down my social media, I'm still going to be collecting dolls. I can promise you that. I've been um, a true doll lover since I can remember. I want to say I, I can go back in memory wise at least seven years old. But I can't, I don't know if I can go back any further. I know I have a picture, my mom have a picture of me when I was maybe five or four, four or five. And I had like, I was pictured with a Raggedy Ann doll. And she said, you know, I drag my dolls with me um, around. So I've been a doll collector and um, I realized um, a couple years ago when I went to visit my grandmother on my father's side, um, that as a child I always remember her collecting like these china a lot of um, dishes and stuff like that she she like just really elegant pieces of glass and stuff like that and I also collect like wine glasses and stuff like that I, I, I remember that but I didn't recall the fact that she collect dolls as well and but the type of dolls that she collected maybe I don't remember because I'm not interested in those she collect porcelain dolls and Barbie dolls and she still had them in the box and um, but I'm not I don't collect those kind of dolls so um, she has like from like I don't know very old they probably worth a lot of money now but um, yeah I don't collect those type of dolls so I didn't remember that but then my, my mom was telling me that my great aunt was a big doll collector and stuff like that so I started learning like okay so there's other doll collectors in 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 my family but um and that is acceptable but the kind of dolls that we collect people kind of like think we're weird because we collect these but anyway I'll get into that in another video but 
yeah, bonding, yeah, you know, dressing the babies up, changing the, the style of the way you dress a baby. Maybe you're dressing it too old, maybe you're dressing it too young. That can help with the bond. Um, sitting the baby to the side and then coming back to it in a week or so may help you. Um, but what I found with myself, and I tell people this all the time, once I like pick up a doll and there, I feel absolutely nothing, I have no desire to, to change the clothes or, or pick it up or look at it or anything. I just need to sell it. Um, it's not going to come back. It's, nothing's going to trigger it um, when it gets to that point. But if it's just the point of like, oh, I haven't dressed you in a week or two. Oh, I wish I could dress you. Then, yeah. Um, if I change the clothes up, it may do something for me. Um, but yeah. But yeah, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. He has like somewhat of the little froggy legs, but not so quite. But he is, oh my God, like he, I got this little outfit for $4.97, but you guys will see the video when I bought this. But I just, Man, I just love him. And I've realized that him and Baby Prince have almost the same color. So, and they're like, if you can look at him with me in the video. Maybe I'll lift his leg up a little. Show his, his leg. If you look at him in my color, their colors are very close to my color. So, this is what draws me to the babies. Another thing um, that I know... And how I can tell that I usually tend to be more connected to my silicone babies versus reborns is that whenever I need, I want to buy another doll, I'll sell all my reborns first. I will. I'll sell all my reborns just to get another silicone baby sometime if it really pulls my heart. No matter how much I love those reborns, that is something about me. So I know that my true heart and love and passion is with silicone first. But I'll always be a reborn doll collector and lover because I I have a passion for them too. But he is weighted. So cute. And you know what? Let me see. Did I really weight him? Yeah, I really weighted him. I had to feel him because um, Fat Mama, believe it or not, she's not really fully weighted. Um, that's another thing. Now, that is one thing that's like trivial that um, may cause a problem for people, especially like in newborn like size babies and stuff like that. Um, they, they are like, have to be weighted right. If they don't weight right, I can't deal. The bigger babies is okay because they're just usually sitting. I'm not usually holding them as much. Now, I like holding him because he definitely feels great. But, like, some of the other babies, oh, and like Fat Mama, I weighted her bottom. And what else did I weight? She has her bottom is weighted, and I think she has a little bit of weight in her legs, maybe. And I think that's it. She's not really weighted. Um, but he's weighted. His legs are weighted. They're not weighted all the way up. And his arms are weighted, I can tell. I think I weighted his arms all the way up, though. His arms are heavy, but his legs are not as heavy, but heavy enough. Like, I weighted him to, to move right and sit. So, and I think... His head is like not with any weight in it. I don't think. I don't know. But anyway, the the the, the um newborn babies have to be weighted right, or I can't bond with those babies. I don't want to pick them up. I don't like them until they're weighted right. And I'll tell you a particular style of babies that seem like no matter what baby I get with, I get I can't bond or connect with those those babies and. It kind of sucks, um, and I'll tell you about that um, later because it looks like I'm going, well, I'll tell you. Um, the real born babies, I like the way they look, but for me, for some reason, I just can't connect with them. Every time I have a real born baby, um, no, I take that back because I had one that I really liked. But I've had a, quite a bit of other ones that I didn't like. I couldn't bond with quite. So, I, you know what? I take that back. 
I think it's just certain ones maybe. But it's there the the newer ones lately. I think I'm like they're start I'm starting to like those, but the ones before that, the first set of them, I had some of those and I didn't care for those. So anyway guys thanks for watching i try not to make my videos extremely long but um sometimes i go into from one subject to the next subject and just forget and keep going so and i know i look a hot mess because it's like five in the morning i'm recording while gabby is asleep so we'll talk to you guys later say bye-bye tell them bye-bye lamar say bye-bye